of wet fields, as I mentioned, canceling plenty of games throughout the viewing area. Sacred Heart Griffin, however, does not have that problem. The Cyclones hosting Normal West on the turf. Nolan A. Heron with the RBI single. Cole Daly and Mitch Trees, come on down. You're going to cross the home plate and score a couple of runs for SHG. Then it's Connor White with an RBI single up the middle. That scores Cole Daly as he's hustling and bustling down the line. Then watch Corey Mason coming up right here. Check out this shot deep to the gap and left center in the darkness of night. SHG shuts out Normal West 9 to nothing. Edinburgh unable to host today, so they had to switch venues. They were at Warrensburg Latham. Bottom of the first inning, Colin Hopkins hits one to right field. That allows Austin Harden to come down the line to score. To the second inning we go. Edinburgh responds. DJ Rice. Hits it deep to left field. That's over the left fielder's head. Cortez Luttrell to score and tie the ball game up at one apiece. Later in the inning, it's Wyatt Durbin at the plate. And he hits one to right field. That allows DJ Rice to come on down and score. But it's Warmersburg Latham with the victory, 5-4. Hey, a few area softball teams were able to get some games in despite all the rain we received this week. Tri-City traveling to Sacred Heart Griffin this afternoon. Top of the fourth inning, Peyton Sturdy with the sack fly. Check out the throw home. Off target a bit. That allows two runners to touch home plate. Tri-City leads it 4-2. to two. They're excited there. Bottom of the sixth inning we go. We're tied at five. It's Kristen Mathias who hits one to deep left center or left field, we'll say. Runner coming home, but check out the throw. Guns are down at home plate. She is out. To the seventh we go. SHG looking to come home with the win. It's Ashton Deitcha. And she gets this ball game over with one swing. Walk off home run. Talk about a lot of excitement. That is a no doubter. SHG rallies to win it. Six to five. Hey, Glenwood playing host to Moline. Bottom of the second inning we go. It's uh, two on for Katie Hudson at bat who hits it. To center, the throw home bounces short. Abby Burton gets the run, and Angela Ford's going to move over to third. It's now 5-2 in this game. Bottom five we go, 2-1 for the Titans. They're still down by three. Allison Long at the plate, knocks it in the center. That brings in Parker Brandy, but Glenwood falls by the score of 9-4. to four.